It's a busy intersection that already attracts crime. Now people are concerned it could get even worse. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live near Central and Coors with a look at why. Just people I spoke with say because this intersection is a major corridor, it attracts a lot of loitering, homelessness and crime. And now they're concerned people will have people who don't belong here will have one more reason to hang out. When you stand on the corner of Coors and Central, it doesn't take long to spot panhandlers and homeless people camping out. I do see a lot of homeless people. Residents in the area say they believe the intersection is a hot spot for this kind of activity because it's a major corridor with a lot going on, like the bus stop and the multiple fast food restaurants. We're on the west end of town, so you tend to get a lot of folks that are coming in from, from Grants and Gallup, you know, that come into town for whatever reason. Even with all of that commotion, the Albertsons on the corner of Central and Coors recently shut its doors. Johnny Pena says the general manager of the grocery store gave him a few reasons for the closure. Of course, he started to indicate that there was issues with crime and, you know, vagrants and stuff like that. And only a few months prior, the Verizon call center right next door closed too. Very disappointing, very disappointing. People are worried that homeless people will have another place to set up camp now that this Albertsons is vacant. I think it's going to attract more, you know, homeless people, more, you know, more people to this area to where they shouldn't be here. But Pena tells News 13 the neighborhood associations in the area are working closely with APD to try and make sure that doesn't happen. We are going to be asking them to spend a little more time over here, making sure that, that they're doing reports and just hanging out here to ensure that, you know, we don't get those vagrants coming and hanging out. So. So what's going to be moving in here? Well, there's been a lot of different talk about different businesses coming to this building, but we were unable to confirm any of those rumors. Jess, back to you. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. We asked City Councilor Clarissa Pena if there were any plans for the vacant Verizon call center. She said right now there's nothing set in stone. APD did confirm that they will be increasing patrols in the area until the building is occupied again.